Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Previously on Full Throttle Saloon. Why are you acting like that? Because you're being a jerk. With the Sturgis rally rolling, the stress is getting to everyone. Angie and I have been in each other's throats quite a bit lately. Damn it. I pulled a big solid getting that Hollywood executive friend here to check out the Plongros. But the girls are doing more fighting than dancing. We're not even close to being there. I hate vodka. And the throttle staff is already celebrating. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and she's plastered out of her mind. I catch you drunk one more time, we're done. Competition from across the street has put more pressure than ever on the throttle. It's more than competition, it's turned into a dick swinging contest. If things don't pick up, we're gonna be in serious trouble this year. Tonight. I need you to get the out of my way. The gloves come off. Jesse's been on the radio. Who gives a if we make any money? As Angie and Jesse go to war over Angie Land. Okay, you go pick a different Angie then. Well, <laughs> damn. We clash. We need another Angie. Plus, security catches a suspected hooker. Wow, so is this your girlfriend or what? On Full Throttle Saloon. We got Billy Ray Cyrus coming up with his brand new band called Brother Clyde. They're going to be here. And then on Wednesday night, Mr. Brett Michaels live on the main stage. I am the GOAT. Say welcome. So we got two nights behind us, and we're not meeting our goals yet. Our numbers are not there. What are we up to, you know, two? I don't, I have up to two? 100K? Right now? Oh, in there. In there, 200,000. I don't know. No. Not even close. Maybe 50? Maybe? Maybe not even that? We're above last year, but last year sucked. So we're not nowhere near where I need to pay the principal on my mortgage from last year and the principal on interest for this year. I'm not there yet. What kind of a balance do you have in your bank? It's got to be pretty large now, ain't it? I haven't done one for several hours. What is this one, last night? Hey. What's that? That's last night. This That's is last night. And the outlook for the rest of the rally isn't so good. Godsmack's playing right across the street from the full throttle. They kind of, this, these corporate people came in to buy the rally. They spent millions of dollars, and uh, I'm nervous about what how that's gonna affect our crowd. This is the year I've gotta make it. They've taken their whole entire parking lot, turned it into a concert venue. They have no parking for any customers. They're talking 20, 30,000 people coming to these shows, and it's gonna be a freaking nightmare out here. We got Billy Ray Cyrus and uh, Godsmack across the street, but so Bill, I'm hoping Billy Ray pulls it out. This new band he's got is great. Michael. With all the new competition, getting bikers to the throttle is tougher than ever this year. What's up? You've been off a couple of days, ain't you? So we got two days under our belt. So the people that come them two days and see all of this stuff, they have a great time because it's stuff that they don't normally ever see. We got amazing dancers on the poles. We got hot chicks everywhere dancing in the cages, to, you know, all over the bars. There's midgets out here on the bar. They go somewhere else. The next night, let's go back to the throttle. It's the best place in town. I'm just hoping that we have a huge crowd, and it's not like it has been Saturday night or Sunday night. Angie Land is usually a reliable moneymaker. Not this year. I had flaunt that I was trying to take care of. I had the bar. I had bartenders. I had all of these things, and I, I was just spread too thin. She's coming. She'll be here in just a minute. Hey, where are you? It kills me to look up there and see Angie Land empty. Are you not going to do Angie Land? Yeah, as soon as I can get done doing all of this. Huh? As soon as what? As soon as I can get done with this. Do you want to do this for me so then I can? 
No, but I mean, you promised me, but you promised me before this whole thing even kicked in. Yeah, that you but, were... yeah right. <laughs> Except for now, there's no one here to move this money. So, uh, you know, Jesse and I um, kind of have a love-hate relationship. Um, it does get intensified during rally because he likes to walk around like he knows everything. So 2010, no Angie Lamb. Do you know what? Today is Monday. That doesn't mean don't put a blanket statement like that because that, We've that been kind of will piss me off, Jesse. But, I mean, you, you did promise that you'd be up there doing Angie Land. And it's, yeah, but then don't put a blanket statement that it's like 2010 is over. Oh, we're, we're done. No Angie well, Land. When people come to the Full Throttle Saloon, they expect to see the whole kit and caboodle, and I'm talking about Angie's ass up on that stage being Angie Land. Not to mention that when she's not up there, our sales go into the Damn it, I can't even talk to you because you this money. I, I mean, dude. <laughs> what do you want me to do, Jesse? Like, well, just I mean, tell everyone, sorry, f you. No, this is the this is where our dilemma lies. No one can go in that back room. Michael will not let anybody in that back room but me. As soon as he's done resting, I can get up on Angie Land because he can handle the back room. What I'm saying is, if you can't do this, then we need to appoint another Angie Land so that we can get somebody up on the damn stage. There's a whole Angie Land thing up there with this big ass. Okay, you go pick a different Angie then. Well, damn. I mean, that's why I said that would be the easier solution. Jesse, you need to leave me the alone right now. Go find an Angie. Ah. Coming up, the throttle's future is threatened as reports of prostitutes send security scrambling. Abby's at the bottom of the door by the kitchen. Parking for the concert across the street overflows. Coming down on myself. And Michael has to defend his turf. Plus, I need you to get the out of my way. That's what I the battle turns into a war. This year, she's off the chart. I mean, the needle is on bitch. at the rally, and while the hot Sturgis sun has bikers pouring into the throttle to cool off, the Michael and Jesse are pinning their hopes for a big night on Billy Ray Cyrus. How you doing, brother? Good to be here, man. And his new band, Brother Clyde. Knock, knock. Congratulations, brother. What up, brother? Come on in, man. Have a seat. Make yourself at home. Billy Ray has made a rock record under a band name of Brother Clyde. Universal Fontana called me and uh, helped quarterback and oversee the marketing for his new record. Thank you for having faith in Brother Clyde. So he and I have got to be, you know, pretty good friends in a short period of time. Dude, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Okay. So how was your trip out? Oh my gosh, it's been amazing. So is uh, you've played Surges before? I've never been to Sturgis. I got to tell you, this is really well, for yeah, me. Man, that's a perfect. It's, this is a prime event for you, dude. I can't... For me. It's amazing because there was a time I thought I was crazy horse. Cherokee, and right? Being I'm a Cherokee, yeah. but you know this being here in the heart of the Sioux Nation. You, you know, very beautiful for the Native Americans around here. It symbolizes fertility. I, I'll tell you the truth that that may attribute the fact of why Mick has 27 children. Oh, you've I'll been see, walking too close to Bear View. Been years, man. Welcome to the full throttle. Hey, I'm glad to be here, man. Sturgis rocks the people. Uh, a place is about the people, and. Uh, Heart, soul, rock and roll, it all goes hand in hand. Let's have fun, man. Thank you for everything. Let's go rock it. <laughs> I don't like burnouts. They're getting old, too. Time for new ones. Burn them off. My burnout's good <laughs> burnout. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We perform in bar crowds, uh, bike rallies. My name is Blix. I've been wrestling for 12 years. My signature move is called the Blix Creep. That involves me taking my opponent's head and slamming it into the mat. My name is Meatball. I have two signature moves. One is the stink face. The stink face! And the other one is the Vader bomb. <laughs> Wrestling here at the Full Throttle is awesome. Obviously, they like what they seen last year because they brought us back again this year. A signature move is a swing time bomb where I do a full flip off the top rope onto my opponent. Wrestling here at the Full Throttle. My type of people. Long hair, tattoos. 
Oh, look at this. Full throttle. Hey, man. I think I've got all the details worked out for, to be shot out of a cannon. You gotta be so the 70th anniversary in honor of Pappy and Pearl Hoyle, you're coming out of a cannon. I'm going to check it off my bucket list. I'm going to be shot from a cannon. <laughs> I can't believe it. Jackals, Thursday shows are legendary. But this year, they're going up against stiff competition with Three Doors Down playing across the street and Ozzy Osbourne down the road. I want to deliver the best show that I can deliver. And what a more appropriate way to put a cherry on top of the 70th and for the attendance at the Full Throttle Saloon than to be shot out of a cannon. Pa pow This will be the first for Sturgis. Well, get ready, because it's a happening. Hey, Pat, we have a girl out here that might be looking. Prostitution on the property could cost the throttle its liquor license. There's a lady walking around that may be soliciting. So instead of just trying to confront her on it, tried to do a little undercover, try and catch her. So I changed shirts, took my radio off. We did actually have some people come to us and you know, see this one person with multiple guys in a short period of time and going in and out the front door quite often. So for that reason, we actually followed her at one point. Lost her in the crowd, so we went to the surveillance room. OK, go to the main, your main pansy out here in the main bar. Rocky. Yeah. Do you see her anymore? She's either up here still, or she already walked down. Pat, she's at the bottom of the stairs by the kitchen. There she is. There she is. Strutting her stuff. Went and tried to find her. Did you check those corners? Up top? No, I didn't. On the vendors, corner, corner? Yeah. I think she kind of got spooked. I'm sure she'll be back. If not tonight, probably tomorrow. Coming up, Jesse's the last to know. Well, what's going on with this cover charge? And the partnership is put to the test. You gotta understand, I'm on the radio telling these people there's not a cover charge here. You're not writing those checks. He is. And later, the suspect is caught with her pants down. Is this your girlfriend or what? Angels to compliment the flock girls. My name's Christine. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Hi, my name is Amber Strouser. Hi, I am Tanea Brooks, and I am the Perfect Angels. We're pretty well known in the biker community. Here, this is my fourth Sturgis. I'm a biker chick at heart. Like, I used to cheer for the Dallas Cowboys, so there's, like, that whole, like, fun southern girl thing going. So I'm here to make some money. I make money wearing very little clothing, and I make money with my dancing skills. Bartending during the day, go go at night. And back in the earlier days, the Perfect Angels did the shows before Kwan came along. I definitely get the feeling the local girls don't like us. And I've actually had some of them say it to our faces that they don't like us. We've been there since the beginning. He's got some loyalty. And we love Mike, and we think Mike loves us back. So I love the pool throne because it's got everything here. Woo! People love this place, and I always keep coming back because I know it's for sure a good time. What's going on with this cover charge? 
Huh? Because I need to make some more damn income. Hell, that's what it's about. The full throttle never has a cover charge. It's always free to get in, and uh, and that's the cool thing about them. You serious about this, or are you just pulling I'm, my I'm, chain? No, I'm either going to do a five dollar cover, or I'm going to do a one drink minimum. He wants everything to be free, everything to be cheap. People are sneaking their own bottles of liquor in here, their own stuff. They're coming in here, freeloading, watching all the bands, watching all the <laughs> not giving us nothing, not you know. You hear me out on this. If you would figure out some other way to get an Angie up there doing Angie Land, that would help them cut away the. <laughs> we built this brand on the fact that there's not a cover charge, to never charge to get into full throttle. Here, here's where I'm at. If, if a one drink minimum bothers them and if they're gonna spin around and leave, that means they never had any intentions of even spending $5 in my bar. So me spending all this money on bands, freak shows, midgets, all this that I'm throwing money out for entertainment, for them to walk in there for free and not even buy a damn beer, they don't even need to be here. Hey, Jesse, the first $200,000 check that you'd need to write for this mortgage, I promise you would change your mind on that. I promise you. You're not writing those checks. He is. With the ownership that I feel that I have in this and the equity that I have in it, he wants to charge a cover charge, and uh, I'm not going to tolerate that. All I know is that there'd be some better method than just rolling it out and popping it on everybody, like right after the damn rally starts. Especially after we damn mouthed off all damn year about what we got going Listen, on. Listen, nobody got a bar like we got, number one. Number two, if we do a one drink minimum, it ain't like they're not getting something out of it. Hell, they're just buying a drink to come in. I just make it feel like, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just being a mouthpiece out there for a year. And you got to understand, I'm on the damn radio telling these people there's not a cover charge here. They don't, oh, people don't. I see. So because you've been spouting off at the mouth, we shouldn't care that we need to earn enough money to pay a mortgage that's a quarter million dollars. We shouldn't care. Well, Jesse's been on the on the radio. Who gives a f if we make any money? He's going to come in and try to do things the way he wants, and it's going to mess things up. Angie, it's not just about me up there running my mouth on the radio. It's, it's about the fact it's doing it for us. You know what, Jesse? You said that you were just going to go find an Angie to get up on Angie Land, so why don't you go do that? I'm just saying we need some ass up there that damn is sculpting well, this go get one. Jerk. Michael and I are extremely close. When it comes down to it, it's Michael's bar here, and, and, and we butt heads. Angie gets caught up in the day-to-day. -day. I don't feel like she quite understands the big picture of where we're going with the Full Throttle franchise. I, aren't you supposed to be looking for a new Angie right now? We clash. As the sun goes down and traffic builds, the throttle's parking lot suddenly gets very busy. Michael gets suspicious. Rocky, are you there? Sorry, guys, I didn't catch that. Hey, I want y'all to go down to the red light, and I want you to check out the, the parking situation for the across the street. I want to know if cars are pulling in our parking lot, leaving their vehicles, and walking across the road to go over to Godsmack or not. Where you going? They're all gonna lie to us. Should I charge parking or should we charge it to get door? I don't know. Okay, we need to we need to start watching where the cars coming in if they're parking going over there because if they do we need to we're gonna tow them off. Or we need to set up a gate and start charging ten dollars a car parking. I kept an eye on the parking lot and a lot of the people that were going to Godsmack was parking at the throttle because they didn't have a place for people to park. Start shopping everybody. It's $15 a car to get in here. It's not happening. They're going to pay me before they ever get over there to even pay them. You better give me $15 to park this car in this parking lot because I know where you're going. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'm going to meet y'all at the back side of the cabins on that far corner at that light. I'm coming down there myself. 20 will work. Get inside and park. You know, I thought we're so far behind the eight ball in making money this year that I was going to have people towed out of there. But by the time a tow truck goes through the traffic and get, it wouldn't work. So I just decided, you know what? Let's let's capitalize on it. I'm a capitalist. Let's just go make some money. The parking is straight ahead, please. Where's your first twenty, sir? Twenty a car. Twenty bucks a car. Well, why not? Twenty bucks a car. Twenty bucks a car. You're gonna run it. You got it. 
if they're by themselves or something, and they say, well, you ask them, say, where are y'all going? You going to God Smack? And if they say, yeah, 20 bucks. They say, no, we're going to see Billy Ray. We're going to go in full throttle. That's what I'm going to go through. Let, let them go through. If they'll pay the 20, then let them pay the 20. I mean, implementing some systems here. Make some money. $20 is part today, guys. OK, just, I want to fill this so much up. Come on. Damn, that's a big ass truck. Should I charge him 20 bucks? You should tell him he should be 40 because he's so big. Hey. $20 to park tonight, ladies. She's gonna get that money. Stop! Everybody's coughing it up like it's no problem, so. $20 to park tonight. I was down there for about 10 or 15 minutes, and Rocky's down there getting the money for me. I trust her with the money, and I think it's all good. I think it's gonna work out, you know? And they're 20. Knock it out. Coming up. Have you been over there to see God Smack yet? The first night against the big competition brings surprising results. Damn. Plus. I can't get anybody to do What do you need? I'll help you. I need you to get the out of my way. We need another Angie. Monday night at the throttle. With traffic choking the road and the parking lots full. $20 to park tonight. Michael's worried that the concert across the street is killing his bottom line. Godsmack was their biggest pre-sale that they had going on all of their nights that they had booked. God, and they spent a ton of money. This is the official launch of Jesse James beer. It's America's outlaw beer, and it goes on the map starting this week. Jesse's bottled his own beer and has a unique marketing team. Did y'all just get here? Yeah. We got to get this stuff out there. Oh, me? You find the right people, the midgets. All right, y'all ready to go? So we got the midget bar. Come on. Here we go. Come on because it's going to be bartended by, you know, a, a, a group of midgets. The girls are ringing up. Just, uh, just start moving them. I like it. Jesse James' beer is bigger than life. I mean, what a bigger way to make it look bigger than life than to put it in little bitty hands of midgets. Coming through, coming through. That's a damn good beer right there now. Get that over here. Them. <laughs> midgets, and what makes beer taste better than to be served to you by a midget? So we're going to we're going to be able to we're going to have a good launch with the beer. I'm excited about it. <laughs> it's on now. How much is the pay? We don't do it. We're not. Nope. It's done through some kind of promotional thing. Yeah. Jesse says we don't deal with it. So I don't have to pay him. Sweet! Picking up the tab as far as we don't have to pay the band? I verified that three times. So I don't pay you, I don't pay you, right? Well, I want to start the cover. It'll work. That'll put a smile on Jesse's face. If Jesse wants to go get someone to pay for all of our bands, we can keep it free. Land now? After 8 o'clock? I tried to make it so that I had all of everything covered as far as having assistants helping me, delegating jobs out, but the way that everything fell into my lap, I was spread so thin. Let them, let them do let, You don't want those guys to do this? I can't get anybody to do What do you need? I'll help you. What do you, you need? It's hard enough sometimes to communicate with Angie, but this year, she's off the chart. I mean, the needle is on bitch. Angie's over there trying to do everything herself. I ask that you don't want to get any of these guys to help. There's been people with cameras standing there waiting on her for about two hours. No way. I'm not
We may have to use, we may have to get. I have to get my girlfriend on. I have to get away from you. We may have to get, we may have to get two asses. Suck my Jesse. We need another Angie. Coming up, the suspected hooker is back and caught in the act. So is this your girlfriend or what? Plus. Where's he at? Michael comes to the rescue. I didn't tell him he could leave. the bar for the first time this rally. in the cash register for an hour at Angie Land. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go on stage and perform, and I'll be right back. Angie's now gonna hustle off to her other job. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please! I've been in the office, I've been on Angie Land, now I'm backstage. Right now, I'm just trying to get my shoes on. The girls of Florence! Got a friend of mine, big Hollywood executive coming out there, and it's on if the girls hit it. We gotta, you know, keep them heading in that direction. If we're gonna take the flock girls to the next level, we've gotta amp it up. The routine went great tonight. There were still little glitches here and there, but it went 100% smoother than it did last night. I think that we rocked out with our come on out. Billy Ray Cyrus thing, there was a miscommunication. I have no contract, there was no communication. I had a sponsor back out on me. You told me a lie. I did not tell you a lie. I, Jesse asked me, and I said, do we have to pay um, the band? We were gonna charge a cover charge night, and then Scott comes into the room and says that we didn't owe Billy Ray nothing, and now I don't know that that's the case. I think Scott's confused at the end of the day. So yeah, I didn't tell you a lie. charge a cover charge. If I had a contract, if I knew what was going on, it wouldn't happen. Very frustrating. I'm just doing what I'm told with the information I have at hand. That's ridiculous. Time to see if Billy Ray Cyrus can pack the house with the Godsmack concert going on across the street. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? <laughs> Put your hands together and make some noise. This is Billy Ray A promoter's job is never done, especially when it comes to branding. So one of the girls there that was dancing, she was from Canada, and she wanted to get a tattoo because we got to our tattoo booth. She seen where it said free tats. She wanted to get a free tattoo, and I said, well, hell, get a free full throttle tattoo. And so she goes, where am I going to put it? I said, put it on your ass. Hey, man. How we doing? 
Hey, I got the girl that right here that's dancing in this corner. She wants to get a full throttle slam tat on her ass. Come on, get her to come in and we can knock that out. Got it? Cool. Thank you, guys. You know, that ass is, a, is, is the greatest billboard money can buy. Hoping to boost sales, this year, Michael's brought in the unique talent of the Hell's a Popping Freak Show. You know, this freak show is going to help me sell beer. It's going to help my bottom line overall. Just thank y'all, especially so many of y'all familiar faces. Michael, we're doing great, are we? Uh, we're moving some. They're actually, they're not. They're not so much back there on Billy Ray as they are up here. Well, f women, all the ass is up here. Yep, that's what it is. I know that we're doing the best that we can do when we're full and capacity. I'm gonna go to the bar. High points of the of for me is when we're packed. When I see the crowds that are flowing all the way out on both sides under the bridges, from side to side and end to end, I know that this place is rocking then. I mean, when I see the crowds, that's a great, I mean, to me, I know that we're making money. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, she's up there on them stilts. Hey, I think that prostitute is back. I just spotted her with some guy. Just give us the call when you're ready for us to come up the hill. We've been following this uh, this girl. She's uh, been making out with a guy that uh, we believe might be her, either her handler or her uh, her John. Get up here now. He's on top of her. So is this your girlfriend or what? We came up on him. And Said there was no solicitation, and she wasn't too happy, I don't think. So how long you been uh, been here? This would be my first day. Your first day? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What'd you come to Sears for? Just hang out, have fun? Yeah, I got some friends. Been through a few boyfriends today, or what? No. Are you sure about that? I'm positive. What if I told you we had you on video camera? Uh, how about you prove it? All right. What's up? <laughs> Tell me. I heard there's, there's some kind of uh, chick that's soliciting for prostitution. And, uh, you know, Sturgis brings in it all kinds of cr crowds. Did we shut it down, though, and get her out of here? Perfect. No, I don't trick. Do I look like the type of girl who tricks? Just because you see me with this? doesn't mean I trick. And I want to let you all know on camera, this right here does not trick for money. I'm not a pro, whatever you call it. OK. Um, nah, this is the first dude. Nah. We just went on a little scenery, just started making out. All right. The other gentleman, he said he didn't know anything about it. He said she didn't ask him for anything. She hasn't solicited anything. Let's well, go. Because we're pretty sure she solicited a few people today. That's what he was telling me. As oh, long as there was party. nothing solicited, uh, I'm not going to interrupt you anymore. No, no, he, no, no. We've always done our best to control our property in every manner possible to abide by the laws that, that's putting on us. And uh, But my understanding, our security caught wind of it, got it shut down, got her out of here. Coming up, big news from across the street. Michael, you hear about over there tonight? And later. I think that prostitute is back. And this time, she brings some muscle. Let's turn the camera off for no.
Hey, dude. Have you been over there to see God Smack yet? I heard they hadn't sold, that they didn't sell maybe a thousand more than their pre-sales, and that was the largest pre-sale that they had going. Damn. Well, I'm still a little bit concerned about it, but I am hearing great news that the Godsmack concert did not do that great. Uh, and he said that the crowd didn't look like it was any more than it was here. I'm hoping that we can just kick their ass and just kick them plumb out of town. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, I'll come back. Why I get so pissed off when they call me a one-hit wonder? <laughs> Um, pat on the radio, that, that prostitute's back. She's out in front of Venus's shop. What? Yep. Chris, that prostitute's back. She's in front of Venus's shop. What? Prostitute. Come on, let's go. Hey, get her ass out of here, too. That's her ID. We just walked in. Yeah, I understand. So what? 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 We seem to have a problem. Number one, you're on our property. We can film it all we want. But number two, you need to leave. Do not come back. Because we asked you to. She was listening. I guess the, the hooker wanted some confirmation that we caught her in the act of actually being a prostitute, but I don't need, I don't, it's my property, and if I think, or if my staff thinks that that's happening, we'll be kicking her ass out of here. I don't need her in here. Um, what's up with the camera? Can you turn the camera off for no? Back up! Back up! That was her pimp for sure. For sure. He said he was a lawyer, but I've never seen a lawyer like that before in my life. Away from y'all to my soliciting. I show you soliciting. I feel like if she didn't really fight for what she thought that she was innocent for, and she ran like that, she's guilty as hell. Yeah, he's pulling out right now. Okay, the throttle, I don't know why you'd have to ever pay for a piece of tail in Sturgis or at the full throttle. I mean, look at all the women that are here at the full throttle. I mean, that's one thing that we do over a lot of other bars. We have a lot of women that hang out at the full throttle. For me, I mean, if I can brand somebody permanently for life, I'm going to do it. How great is it that somebody wants to get my business name branded on their ass? It's, it's awesome. You scared? You rock. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Canada girls <laughs> rock. Edward Jones don't have people tattooing their name on their ass. Bull Throttle does. That's a no move. Uh, <laughs> I'm branding them.
As the throttle closes, security spots a customer stealing from the flaunt bar. I grabbed it out and I said, I walked up and I said, put that back. I specifically saw him take my money out of my jar. I didn't even Right there, this is the bar back that put the 220s in my bank. Allegedly, a customer put their hand in a one of Flounder's tip jars. Okay. They just come and got me and told me that uh, some kid, some one of the guys, customers, reached in a tip jar and grabbed 40 bucks. I just, where's he? Is he here detained? Yeah. He is? Pretty he much. He says he didn't do it? Yes. So the security called him, had him detained. Did yeah, you yeah, stick your hand in and get that tip money from her? No, no. I, I put money in. All, all I have is one. I already showed him. I have a 20. i pretty sure I can show you a receipt from it, but. It's in, it's on my bank slip, but yeah. All right, well here, Michael, you can get, Jeff, you can get the story from these girls. Tell me the story right quick. The guy in the yellow shirt. Yellow. Who's seen it? I did. Where's he Michael, at? Michael. I didn't tell him he could leave. Hey. Oh, yeah, don't let him. Y'all stay over there. Come here, dude. What are we doing? Come here. Hey, we'll talk oh, I'm going to talk to him right quick. I ended up uh, just getting the kid away from everybody else and took him over to the side and told him to call the money up or I was just going to call the cops. So look here. That girl that t t she took that money yeah. is like one of my best friends. Okay. Just cough the 40 bucks up and I'm gonna let you go home. Okay, um, honestly, I have. Oh, we're gonna call the law. Hold on. Okay, it's, either, it's either the cops or the 40 bucks. Okay, one, two. Who does that? I literally have 30. Then cough, yeah. just give me what the. I $33 just need on Whatever the you got. I just need it all. Just hand it to me, I'm gonna let you go home without calling the law. Is that legit? That's how I'm at. Okay, all right. Thank you. See ya. Once I told him that was one of my best friends he took the money from, he totally just reached in his pocket, got the money, and gave it to me. I sent him on down the road. Look, all, I took every dime he had in his pocket. It's $33. I don't know if he, he must have oh, if he took more than that. Oh, so no. oh. Thank you, Mike. Good and good, good conquer song. <laughs> good How about over there tonight? Uh-uh. 4,000 people. Four? We had more people here than they had over there. F it. <laughs> We've been needing a big night all week, and we finally got one tonight. I am not I am not even lying. I hope we kill them, because I want I, I want it to get out that don't go set up cross the road from Full Throttle Saloon, and you'll get your ass handed to you. <laughs> Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. There is no more Angie Land tonight. Jesse finds a replacement for Angie. Let's just say it's gonna hit the fan. And Angie strikes back. I run this place, not you. Get off. Plus. I'm serious. There's problems right now. The flaunt girls draw a line in the sand. If the perfect angels get to perform, we would just walk. And. Come here, I'm gonna tell you something. Michael makes a decision that rocks the throttle. What in the hell is that guy thinking?